Upon the making of this video, I might die, and I just want you guys to let my non-existent grandchildren to know it was worth it. So my freshman year of college, the first semester, my friend invited me to this party at this one club. I've never been to a college party, so yeah, sure, sounds fun. We thought we would be cool and come late, so we came about 30 minutes late, and when we got there, there was no one there. For the next hour and a half, my friend was crying on the phone to her mom, and her mom was telling us how we should have came at 12 instead, because no one comes at 10.30 and that we were losers. There was this one girl with very interesting style of choice there. Very interesting. And me and my friend, we were talking, about how very interesting. But after an hour and a half of waiting, the party finally turned up, basically just dancing. At this moment in time, the whip was like a new dance. This was like before white people could steal it and post videos online of them poorly executing it a year later. So I'm dancing and like I see this tentacle reach out. Attached to the end of the tentacle is this girl and she basically catapults herself halfway across the room in front of me and my friend. I didn't know that she was attempting to do the whip but apparently that was her attempt at the whip I guess. But I didn't really know what the whip was so I was just gonna let her make it. I look over and my friend's doing a thing and I thought she was just being stupid which she is but I'm like what's this stupid thing you're doing and I start doing the stupid thing too and then out of nowhere the girl that looks like she's about to go to combat at Wincott Juniors rolled up and she's like talking in my ear but the music's too loud what um what I, I honestly cannot hear you I, I assumed that she was an obvious lesbian. I mean, for a grown woman, okay, for a girl that's above the age of 12, if you fail this badly at dressing yourself before you go out in public, you have to be a lesbian. I, no excuses. So I assumed that this chick was a lesbian and I thought she was just trying to talk. And I was like, no mom, you cannot have my vagina. And then my friend came through and I heard a girl that looks like a squished skittle on the side of the road say, is there a problem? And my friend's like, no, is there a problem? Problem. And then my friend charges away pissed off and I'm like, what? What what happened? I just got you out of fight and I'm like What I thought we were just having a nice conversation about the weather and vagina It turns out that that one weird kool-aid you get when you mix all the kool-aid flavors together Was just defending her friend over their squidward tentacles, but my friends like pissed off Dej loaf comes on and then my friends pissed off dancing to Dej loaf I always thought that this girl was crazy Probably because she is, but I thought it was pretty awesome how she defended me like that because I probably would have died in the club that night. But it's not really the club situation that got to me. It's the aftermath of the club situation. Kiana, can you give me a straw? I mean, I don't know. That's a really far walk. I mean, you have legs. You remember that time I saved you? I saved you in that club. I didn't have to save you. I didn't have to go back. I could have left you, Kiana. Kiana, what time is it? Um, my phone is kind of dead. I saved you. I saved you up in the club. I didn't have to save you. You're so disrespectful. I saved you. So ungrateful. What do you want? Um, uh, she was two inches taller than you, Kiana. You wouldn't even be getting McDonald's right now if it wasn't for me. The moral of the story is if you're about to get stomped in the club by some girl, just let it happen. It's not worth it. It's not worth living, okay?